Um, uh, today we're going to be talking about a few apps that uh, are really unique and can help in your curriculum and instructional practice as well as displaying student work. Um, today we are using Reflector 2 for me to actually airplay to my computer to show you this tutorial video. Um, to the left you notice that we have green screen 8th grade project and in that assignment 8th grade students shared their knowledge of various events throughout history. This project allowed students to research, develop, and report their findings in an immersive classroom setting. Now, uh, it is important to not only know what you know, but be able to effectively communicate what you know. And um, if you didn't want to use Erasma, like I'm going to showcase in here, you could always, you know, upload the video to YouTube or Google Drive and share it to a QR creator like QRStuff.com, and then insert that QR code like I have done here on the bottom left onto the page. Uh, but I do want to showcase what augmented reality is now and how it can really change the way we view and share information at school. So when people come to your school and you want to get them interested in the content and learning environment or you want to get students interested in um, how they share their work, this is one really cool app that will allow you to do it. So I'm going to open up my Erasma uh, app here and it's going to allow me to scan the area. Now I have a video that uh, I, I just printed out the page for us and, and when I roll over this image Hello everyone, this is Catherine Mainholtz reporting live from the Ford Motor Company. It's July 23rd, 1914 and I'm here celebrating the 11th year anniversary of their first sale. They have been extremely successful. Pretty so I'm going to actually pause this for just a second and when I move away from the image it actually cuts off and when I come back it will actually um, the trigger will catch on again and start the video from the very beginning now um, this video is a little bit lengthy but uh, it is wonderful in terms of displaying and sharing student work in a, in a unique way so what I did was I had students work on this project create the project in green screen by doing after they finalized the product, um, they actually airdropped it to my MacBook or, you know, they could send it with maybe the simple transfer app or even through email. I collected the video that they had uh, and I m uploaded it to Google Drive or you could upload it to YouTube and I, uh, just to save the, the video file. And then I went on to Erasmus Studio. So, Really, if you go to Erasmus Studio, it's going to ask you to insert an image, which is just an image that I took in the middle of the video. I just screenshot, uh, screenshot the image. And then add an overlay, which is the video aspect of this project. So I took a picture of their project and then embedded the video into it. And then from there, the only thing I have to do is in the Erasmus app, scan over the product, and every time I the app recognizes that trigger image, it automatically plays this video. Let's see what she has As to you say. Probably know. Before, cars could only be bought by the wealthy. As you can see when they I were change more it. more way to show off than to use practically. With I the can Ford zoom Motor Company creating these symbols, I can see on, different cars aspects have of the video. Practical. The average American can now afford a car. In years to come, it is predicted that almost everyone will have a car and use it on a regular basis. That's all for today, but tune in next week. Bye. So she did an excellent job with the video. And I thought it was interesting to see the development process, but also how we can share it. I mean, outside of a classroom or in a lobby of a school, you know, you could put quite a few different projects and that could be a showcase for the week or the year or the month. And uh, while parents or students are waiting in there uh, or, or, you know, finishing work, give them an opportunity to go check out some of the awesome things that students in, uh, have been working on. So I hope this um, helps explain Erasma, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at nick.combs at gmail.com and visit my website at nickcombsedu.com. Thank you so much, and have a great day.